I think this is the best bumper we've seen in a long time at Punchestown. You'll see a small field, and we've got an on-runner in sizing posse, which, which reduces the field to five. But this is a better race than the champion bumper yesterday. This is a hell of a race. All five of these have big, big futures. I mean, you see the outsider of the entire field is a horse called Six Shooter, trained by Noel Mead, who won a bumper at Leopardstown on its debut by five and a half lengths and has since been bought by Gigginstown. That, that he's the outsider in the field, that tells you all you need to know. Uh, Fury Road is held in the highest regard in the Gordon Elliott stable. Like, they talk about Fury Road in the same way they talk about Envoy Allen, in the same way they talk about Malone Road. He's probably not as good as them, but he's up there. He's, 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 he's really, really pr- promising. But I do think the big getaway could be Willie Mullins' best bumper horse this year. Um, he was beaten at Navin when he made his debut just after the Cheltenham Festival in March. Um, I thought if Patrick Mullins could have that ride back again, he would love it back because he probably should have won. The winner, winner that day, who had loads of experience, fiddler on the roof, he got first run. And Patrick was just left playing catch-up kind of from the two furlong pole. Um, he was brilliant when he won his point at horse and jockey. Uh, I'd say he's a very, very, very good horse, uh, this big the big getaway. Uh, the fact that he hasn't even won his bumper and the rest of them have, and he's still favourite, says a lot. Willie Mullins won this race with the likes of York Hill, Invitation Only, Kel Esprit, when you go back through the years. And I think this could be another superstar. So I, I, I'm a very, very confident vote for the big getaway here.